Craig, your, def your first start definitely wasn't how you thought it would go today. No, obviously I'm coming away extremely disappointed and, you know, being a 5-1 defeat isn't what any player wants to do, especially for this first start for all the shots. So, you know, it's got to be a lot better than that. And we've had a chat after in the dressing room and said, look, what we feel like we need to do and what direction we need to get in, because that's just, that's just not good enough. And that's, that's I can only apologise for the fans who've travelled. So we need to roll our sleeves up, look at ourselves in the mirror and, you know, that's, that's, that can't happen again. Because you know we we took a while to get going in the first half, but we got that you know goal that's possibly put us back into it in the second half. What was the message from Danny before the game? You know, we took risk at the back in the first 15, which we shouldn't have taken. And I think especially when you're coming to Torquay and you know they're not on a great run, I think we need to put them under a bit more pressure at the start of the game. And you know we're a little bit sloppy, I think, at times as a team, and that's something we need to eradicate so we can we can get three points and start pushing up the table because we found that goal that looked to have got us back in it and obviously you were involved in the build-up to it. Obviously it would be nice for you to get involved but it did seem as though we sort of let things slip a little bit from there. Yeah, I thought we actually came out in the second half and you know, Danny really rallied the troops and I think you got the reaction we wanted but it's, it's not good enough only doing that for 15 minutes in a 90 minute game, you know, you've got to sustain that and sustain the pressure and you know, we've got to look at ourselves and see what more can we do to continue to sustain that pressure because at times we had them on the back foot when I went to 2-1 and you know, as you're playing in the game we created more chances, you know, we could see the defenders were starting to panic on the ball, you know, playing quick throw-ins and raising the tempo and you know, we've got to sustain that for 90 minutes and start the game like that. And speaking of 90 minutes, it's your first in 22 months as you told yeah. me off camera. How do you feel after that? Yeah, you know, to be honest, it's actually quite an emotional day for me and there was at times where I probably thought I might not even play football again, so obviously I'm Although the result, and I'll take that aside, for me, it was it was a, quite a privilege to be able to have that opportunity after 22 months. I mean, when I come here today, I didn't expect 90 minutes in the in the bank, but you know, I just want to thank obviously my family, my mates, and my missus for supporting me through what's been quite a quite a traumatic time for me. And um, obviously, thank you for shop for giving me that opportunity to uh, start rebuilding my career. Because Danny said after the game, you know, you're one of the better ones out there, despite the disappointing results today. Yeah, that's nice to hear and obviously I feel the more I play and the sharper I get, I think I've got quite a few more gears to go. So, like I said, it's, it's a privilege to be able to, to try to come back from this injury I had for the 22 months and Danny's given me that platform and I, I want to repay him and all the shot. And it gives us a chance to look ahead to the league now and don't worry about the FA Trophy anymore with Stockport at home next Saturday. Yeah, that's going to be a very tough game. They're, they're a good team. so. We can come in on, on the start of the week and address what we feel has gone wrong today and you know we've got to be a lot better and there will be a reaction and I think the lads are going to drive that forward throughout the week because like I said that's not good enough and that's what we need to really address and knuckle down and if we need to be a bit more nasty to each other to get the best out of each other that's maybe something we need to look at. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.